It was at State House Mombasa where the president met the 610 youths drawn from the six counties of the coast and held candid discussions over what afflicts them. And the president with other leaders present were at hand to offer solutions to their concerns. Those, those, those young fellows, we need to work together with these rehab centers to see how we can rehabilitate them. So our war should not be with these young people. It should be to work with them to, to, to rehabilitate them. Our war should be with the barons. And in yet another score for the youth, those doing excellent work in their respective communities will be honored by the president through a yet-to-be-created youth category in the role of owner beginning this year. I will promise you, and we have just discussed with the minister here, that because we ourselves are focused on this and we are in the process of developing a number of talent academies, because of your request, I have asked him that the first such academy will be done and it will be done here in Mombasa. But the question of acquiring identity cards and runaway corruption proved thorny for many young people who spoke with President Uhuru Kenyatta promising to intervene. But it is this young man from Tana River County that left participants cracking their ribs, especially when he asked the president to accord him a chance to marry his daughter Ngina. After presidency, I told the people of Tanariva County, I'll get the president to come to Tanariva. How? I will not promise you 500 herds of cattle, no 42 sheep and goats, but I'll promise you something that is the most expensive thing on the Kenyan soil. For your daughter's hand in marriage, I give you my vote. <laughs> I can address all the other issues you mentioned. <laughs> President Kenyatta is on Thursday expected to tour Lamu County for a two days visit. And all